Hello. Uh, my name's Dr Gill. I've been asked to do an examination of your peripheral vascular system today. So that's going to mean having a look at your hands and feet, having a look at your neck, but also examining your tummy and your legs. Would that be OK? Yeah, that's fine. Super. So, before we start, could you please confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yep, it's Oliver Burton, 23rd of the 4th, 1996. Thank you. So, to start off with, do you have any problems with your hands or feet? No. Excellent. OK, so if we could start off, if you could put your hands out in front, please. Just having a look to see if there's any problems here. Everything looks OK. Just going to squeeze over the fingertips. I'm going to check the temperatures. That's good. That's fine. If you could turn your hands over, please. Again, everything looks good there. So I'm just going to take your pulse on both sides. So relax very slightly. Okay. So we've got normal rate and rhythm, and both are coming through at the same time. I'm just going to go slightly further up and check the pulse here. That's good. And relax, please. I'm going to check the same on this side. Now we need to do your blood pressure. Um, do you have any problems with either of your arms? No. Okay. So are you right or left-handed? Right-handed. Okay. So we'll start off that side first. Put that on here. And around we go. And if we just relax down for a moment. And we're going to do this first off without the stethoscope. So I'm going to take your pulse manually. That's excellent. Good blood pressure. And we're going to do the same again on the opposite side. Okay. And just relax down. We're just going to confirm this with the stethoscope. OK. So both plus blood pressures are nice and normal, about 105. Over 80 on both sides, so no problems there. Right. So let's move the bed up. Let's get you to lean back. If you could take your shirt off, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you lean back for me. And we're just having a quick look. I can't see anything obviously uh, worrying. So if you could lean your head back on the bed for me, just having a look at your neck. And if you just turn your head over that way for me, so I'm just going to check your pulse. That's grounded and turn back this way for me. And we're just going to do the same again on the opposite side. Super. Now we need to listen over that pulse. So if I could get you to just relax back and turn your head to face the wall. We're just going to put the stethoscope and we're going to breathe together. So, if deep breath in and hold it. And breathe normally again. And if you could turn over this way, please. And we'll do the same again. Do a deep breath in and hold it. That's fine. You could breathe normally, please. 
Okay. Um, so we'd now like to just um, examine your stomach. Um, do you have any problems with your back? No. Okay. So we're going to lie you flat, if I'm right. So I'm going to put my hands either side of your um, uh, umbilicus. Okay, so I can't see any visible pulsations. I'm just going to put my hands on your stomach, if you don't mind. I'm going to push down a little bit deeply. Tell me if there's any problems with that. Okay. So nothing abnormal there. We just need to have another quick listen as well. That's all fine. What I'd like to check now is I'd like to check the blood vessels in your groin. So I'm going to press down over the top of your shorts, and if we can find the pulse, then we'll move on. If we can't, we may have to look underneath your uh, shorts, the boxes. Okay, so we've got a normal pulse on that side. And there as well. That's excellent. So I'm going to move down the leg if I could. If you could lift this leg up in the air for me, please. Okay, no problems here. Nothing under the heel. I will do the same again. And no problems under the calf or the heel. Relax down for me. Okay, so just going to check the temperatures on your legs. Okay, that's all fine. Okay, I'm just going to pick up your leg slightly. I'm going to press on the back of your knee. Okay, can't feel anything there. And back down again. I'll do the same on this side. Up. So just going to press up and inside your knee. Okay, that's fine. Come back down. So just having a look at the very bottoms of your feet. So there's no obvious bruises or ulcers there. Just going to check between the toes. That's all fine. Okay. And finally, our two pulses behind. Checking posterior tibial and osalis pedis. Okay, that's all good. I'll give you a shirt back. So we didn't find any abnormalities there. Do you have any questions for myself? No. Super. Well, thank you very much for your time.